Hi, today is blog five for Friday the 16th of October and I'm going to be reading Luke 12, 13 to 21, which is always called in the Bible the parable of the rich fool. It's telling us that greed is a block to God's harvest. Now, of course, last Sunday was the official harvest for our churches. It's a great time of year, isn't it? Especially when we have country parishes and we celebrate the harvest of land and food. We celebrated particularly this harvest, the sense that God's abundance is seen all around in our land, even though this year at COVID time, there are difficulties and there are problems with some of the harvests. Today's Bible reading is a warning that we cannot store up the harvest for ourselves alone. As it says elsewhere in the Bible, manna is from God, but it cannot be stored. We have to take it at the point of delivery. If you think you can store up God's gifts as a form of harvest for yourself so that you become richer, the Bible has a sad word for you. You are aphron. That means you're a foolish person. Aphron. God gives and God takes away. We have to accept that. God gives capital and he takes capital, but that doesn't make us capitalists. Our global capitalist culture believes that we can amass wealth and do so indefinitely, whatever, and become rich. That is not God's way. Today's story is a warning. Let me read it for you. You know it, I'm sure, very well indeed. Luke twelve thirteen. someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. He said to him, Friend, who set me to be a judge or an arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable, The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, What should I do? for I have no place to store my crops. And he said, I'll do this. I'll pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and all my goods. And I'll say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. God said to him, you fool, Aphron. This very night, your life is being demanded of you. The things you've prepared Whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich towards God. So very simply, the story is telling us that if we think we can store up capital, we are blocking God's harvest. We are blocking God's image in us. He made us to be generous people, to share what we have. The only capital, I think, in which we can invest and store up is called love. It's God's capital. Is a form of sacred social capital that never runs out. So today, join me in thinking, how might you and I become poorer in our physical wealth, but become richer in social capital of love?